knowledge that study are going to chemical reactions and equations. What is chemical reaction? In our daily life, we come across many process. For example, milk is changed into curd. If we keep the milk for a long time in summer season, it will become settled at the bottom. We are, di we are uh, taking food, the food is getting digested. In all these process, the change that is occurring is irreversible. Such irreversible changes are called chemical changes. So, in order to understand these chemical process as chemical reaction, we should know the terms what is reactant, what is product. The substance what we are taking food, it is a reactant. What it is changing after the chemical reaction, what we are getting is called the product. So now we are going to learn in this chapter various types of chemical reaction. There are seven types of chemical reactions which we are going to learn in this lesson. Combination, second one decomposition. This decomposition can be brought out with the help of heat, with the help of light or with the help of electricity. The third type of reaction is called displacement reaction. Next, fourth type, double displacement reaction or precipitation reaction. Fifth one is redox reaction. Both reduction and oxidation takes place simultaneously. Sixth one is exothermic reaction where heat is given out. Seventh one is endothermic reaction where heat is taken. Now we are going to learn one by one all these seven types of reactions in this chapter. First one is combination reaction. Two reactants, A and B are the reactants. They react together, they will form one product. C is the product. So two reactants, who are the two reactants? A and B. Which is the product? C. Now we are going to see various examples and we are going to write the chemical representation that is a scientific representation that is called the equation. Carbon, you know the symbol. Last year itself we have studied carbon symbol is C. Oxygen, we can write oxygen always as O2 because it is a diatomic molecule. This carbon burns with oxygen. How will you show the burns with using a triangle? Carbon burns with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. How many carbon atoms is there? This side one. Here also one. O2. Here also O2. So the reaction is balanced. Every chemical equation must be balanced in order to follow the law of conservation of mass. Last year we have studied law of conservation of mass. What is law of conservation of mass? The total mass of the reactant will be equal to the total mass of the product. So each and every atom in the reactant side and its number must be equal to the same number of atoms in the product side. Now let us see the second example. Magnesium ripple. We will see it in the lab and I will show you through all activities. This magnesium ripple we will see in the lab. Magnesium ripple, when it is uh, cleaned with a sandpaper, we have to clean it. Otherwise, it will not burn properly. It already formed the oxygen layer. It will not allow it to burn. So, we have to clean it with the sandpaper and then it is burnt with oxygen. As I have already told you, oxygen has to be written as O2. When it reacts, metal, when it burns with oxygen, it will form metal oxide that is the magnesium oxide. Now you see whether it is balanced or not. 1 mg, 1 mg, no problem. But how many oxygen? 2 oxygen atoms. 1 molecule or 2 oxygen atoms. Here I have written only 1 atom. So it is not balanced. I told you every chemical equation must be balanced. So in order to balance the equation, I am writing MgO. I have to make 2 oxygen atoms here. So in, in order to put that, I am writing this in the front. We should not put it here. If you put it here, its formula will be uh, damaged. So we are putting the 2 in front. So here this became product say 2 magnesium, 2 oxygen. 2 oxygen okay. But 2 magnesium is not there, so I am putting it in the front. Now it is balanced. The reaction is balanced. Now likewise we can write the next example. You might have been knowing about quicklime. Calcium oxide is called quicklime. 
this quick line when treated with water H2O calcium oxide when reacts with water it forms calcium hydroxide which you have learnt the formula in the last year itself CaOH twice now let us check whether the reaction is balanced or not one calcium one calcium oxygen one plus one two the two is for coal for oxygen as well as for hydrogen so two I have put hydrogen two hydrogen so the equation is balanced we can observe two more observations in this reaction heat will be given out so it is an exothermic reaction and also it will give a hissing sound so what are the two observations made when calcium oxide that is quick line treated with water we get heat the vessel will become uh, get heated up and a hissing sound will come this Calcium hydroxide is called lime water, otherwise called slate lime. Slate lime. So this process is called slaking of lime. Slaking. Which one is slaking? Lime is getting slaked. So it is called slaking of lime. This is about combination reactions. We can see many examples for combination reactions. In the later on videos, we, I will show you the more examples of combination reactions. Now let us see about decomposition reaction in the next video.